Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the AGL LR Trunks and Goten unit. Now we're going to see how they perform in the Gods of Destruction event as with all LRZAs and all DFEs. We try to take them into the Gods of Destruction events so we can see how they do currently against some of the hardest content in Dokkan, at least on global side. So obviously uh, LR Trunks and Goten, just to recap their passive a little bit, uh, they are now a super AGL type lead of key plus four and 120 percent attack and defense they also are a 50 percent chance for either fat go tanks or skinny go tanks on their 12 key the fat go tanks will raise their defense whereas the skinny go tanks will lower their defense which isn't good but the chance of getting their 12 key is pretty low nowadays on their 18 key they have a 50 percent chance for ss1 go tanks or ss3 go tanks SS1 Gotenks will just raise their defense, whereas SS3 Gotenks will greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. They have a attack and defense of 150% when performing a super attack, along with key plus 5 to 10 randomly at the start of turn. They will also gain 50% attack if they are firing an ultra super attack. They then have a medium chance of evading an enemy's attack. So overall, they have a pretty decent passive upgrade now. Uh, they're on quite a few categories as well, and we did take a look at how they perform at 55% in our review video, which obviously you can find in the top right hand corner. So obviously, we've seen how they performed in ESPR, we've seen how they performed in um, you know, the review, just in terms of raw numbers. I think a very important thing to note with these guys is that there are two God of Destruction events for strength. So one event is obviously this one and then the other one they are facing uh, an AoE attack unit. Now the AoE attack unit causes them a lot of problems because he can attack before they fire off their super attack. Uh, which means if they don't evade they can actually take quite a sizable amount of damage. I did try them in that stage and they did end up taking quite a bit more damage than well, than reasonably would have liked. They managed to evade it once or twice but they did end up taking damage and I think that's important to note that even though I'm showing you this, uh, they do perform better in this event than in the other one because even though this god of destruction hits harder, uh, he actually you know, only fires at them or will only be able to hit them in the second slot after they fire off their super attack. So you can see there, evasion kicked in, decent damage. So pretty solid showing so far. Obviously the first couple times we'll see them will be mainly with just items active. And that's obviously something that's quite important. Um, so yeah, as a unit, uh, they are pretty good after they super. They gain a lot of defense, 150%. Uh, they also obviously raise their defense as well uh, on their you know, 18 key. So they do definitely raise their defense to very acceptable levels after they super. This is a 55% unit. So a rainbow unit is going to perform a lot better. I mean, that's you know, the standard practice case for every single unit in the game. But yeah, we'll definitely get a good idea of how well they perform uh, from this. I think, like I said, their biggest issue is in that other fight where there's AoE, they definitely can take damage before they super, which is why you want to keep them in the second slot. Now, something that's very good is the fact that they have a good linking partner in the form of the GT duo, the Vegeta Jr. and the Goku Jr. Uh, and so that's pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, I would definitely say that that's kind of the, the best way to proceed. So yeah, uh, that's kind of the best situation for them, I think, in terms of linking partner. Obviously, we're running under a pretty low leader skill here. Uh, we're running under 120% uh, you know, AGL lead skill. They could run under a higher lead skill. Um, you know, they could run under a kind of join forces lead skill, but I couldn't find a second Kale and Khalifla. Uh, which does affect them a little bit, uh, but we could run them under quite a few. Uh, Heavenly Events actually would have been a great category for them, 
uh, to be run under and would actually be really, really solid. Uh, that brings with them the Gohan. Uh, that brings with them that AGL Gohan, who's a Heavenly Vents or Bond of Master and Disciple unit. Uh, and yeah, he's pretty great. Would have you know, been a bit difficult to put a coherent team together, but pretty solid, I think, uh, overall. And yeah, they definitely would have run under a higher lead skill there and been much, much better for it. But I think they show enough here under the lower lead skills. As you guys know, mono teams are generally the best way to go for Gods of Destruction uh, in terms of team planning and building. But yeah, overall pretty r damn rock solid. Uh, and yeah, uh, you can see they are going to do some more good damage here. Uh, we've hit you know, very nice attack stats overall. And defensively, we're going to get a pretty good idea uh, of how they do. Remember, we still have an item active, so they take single digits with an item, which is good. Uh, they did get SS3 Gotenks, so we did have slightly higher defense, I guess, than usual. But yeah, for the most part, they did hit pretty well there. They took hits pretty well, and they did pretty well overall. So for me, uh, very happy with how they've done. Uh, and yeah, just uh, quite happy with the display so far from them. I think as units, uh, they can, you know, be a solid unit for Gods of Destruction events. I think they're in the right category, especially at 55% to handle things the way they're handling things is pretty good. Their damage is pretty good. Uh, and we're getting to a nice spot with this AGL team here. Uh, so they've kind of set things up. Do I think they're good as a main unit? It's difficult to say. I do think they would be better as a floater. Um, that way you wouldn't have to build the team around them and for example in something like the Heavenly Events team you could just have them floating around dealing damage not really like necessarily needing to do too much I think that's kind of their best position because like I said they don't provide a lot of utility and although they are strong defensively they're not like the strongest unit defensively it's not like this Kale and Khalifla who have like 60% evasion against this guy and will fire off multiple super attacks and you know have quite large defense or the you know Ally AGL Gohan for example who stacks defense. They they are good defensively, they're good enough for this event, but I think you know them floating is also a very a very acceptable situation. Uh, so here we're gonna have them linked up. There's no item now, so we're gonna see how they do. Uh, overall, but yeah, we'll see how they do as a unit. I think they'll do fine uh, But it'll give us a good idea of how you can do once you're past the item phase. Remember this is 55% so of course uh, any unit with dupes or You know multiple dupes or rainbow will do substantially better uh, And we'll see based on the, their defense how well they do if they take 20,000 or 30,000 that means a unit with one or two dupes will take no damage so uh, that's kind of how it works uh, just considering how their passive works and everything like that but we get SS3 go tanks as well which is good because that's the maximum amount of defense that they're going to have if we got an additional that would also uh, matter as well 25k honestly not bad at all 25k on a 120% leader skill 55% uh, is very acceptable we still have the evasion, uh, they do decent damage, so for me, very fine, very acceptable, more than happy with how they've done there, and I think, yeah, overall they look pretty solid. Um, we do, you know, manage to lose this, unfortunately, but I think they did an exceptional job, so from me, um, very, very happy, and yeah, if you have them, give them a try out, but yeah. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or leave a comment and I'll try and reply back or let me know how you found them Have you used them? Have you tried them out? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video So until then take care stay safe and as always I'll see you guys next time. Bye